My name is Ashley, I'm a certified trauma coach, and here are the top two behaviors that you wanna avoid if you don't wanna send yourself deeper into that spiral. The first behavior is shaming yourself. Whenever we do something that we know we shouldn't be doing or we don't want to be doing, yet we still do it, the first behavior that we jump to is shame, disappointment, judgment, frustration. And as soon as we apply a negative emotion to something that we are already feeling pretty poorly about, we amplify that emotion. Let's use the example of a breakup. If you just got out of a relationship and you're feeling incredibly fragile and upset about the way things ended, judging yourself, shaming yourself for feeling the way that you naturally would feel about the loss of a partner is only going to make that pain and suffering that much worse. The second behavior is isolating yourself. Very often when we're not feeling great, we wanna be alone. And that's for two reasons. One is that we don't wanna be inconvenienced with other people's opinions and influence on what we're experiencing. And then two, it's because we don't wanna affect other people with what we're going through. Sometimes we're feeling so low vibe that we know if we're around others, we will bring them down with us. The problem with isolation is that humans are actually wired to heal in the company of one another. So when we separate ourselves from other human beings, we cut ourselves off from our opportunity to co-regulate and be soothed by the company of other people. Comment part two if you would like to learn how to rehabilitate these common behaviors.